If you watch the YouTube short, you guys know that this Worker Phoenix 2.0 only shoots about 130, and my local Wars is about 150 FPS, and I wanted that 20 FPS more, so I went ahead and upgraded this with the Worker kind of high-powered motors in the end, as well as the High Crush wheels. Now, that puts me at about 154 FPS, somewhere right in there, but lucky about this, you can dial it down just a hair, so I went down to 98% power to the flywheels, which put me at that sweet pot spot of 150 FPS. Now, I have some video here that you guys can watch of me up dating this thing. It wasn't too bad. I tried the wheels first or the higher crush wheels on the end and it really didn't help. I didn't notice any increase. It was the motors for me. Now there is something huge though you guys need to know is if you like motor braking, uh, mine was you can't smell it right now, but you can smell the heat. You can smell the burning. And you notice the temp would go above 80C. And when this goes above 80C, it won't work. However, it works perfectly fine when you turn motor braking off. So if motor braking is a thing for you, um, I don't know, uh, you know, I wouldn't update it because they didn't work for mine. I didn't read anybody else having the issue, but I mean, really just putting two motors on, but I can, I can tell that, you know, with those higher uh, power amp draw motors on the end, yeah, something is gonna be, I don't know. I'm, th I'm thinking there's some type of like firmware update for the MOSFET and everything in here. I haven't seen anything online. I am probably going to email worker to kind of see, but just keep that in mind that you might have issues if you have motor braking on. Everything else was perfectly fine, but yeah, let's go ahead and shoot this on the range here so you guys can get, you know, get an idea of what it's like on the range and see what it's like, but it's shooting that sweet spot about 150, 151. So let's rock and roll. So you guys can see, I mean, with the upgraded wheels, I definitely get that little extra just pop that I need to get to that 150 mark. I don't know how much longer I'll be using this particular blaster since there's so many blasters that hit that 150 mark right now, but this thing, you know, with how accurate it is and just the feel of it is super, super good. So I don't know, you know, I'm gonna see how this goes, but right now I typically use this quite a bit. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about, again, the upgraded motors that I put in here with the higher crush and then dropping it down to about 98% uh, efficiency of the wheels gets you right for me at that 150 FPS mark, which is awesome. And yeah, this thing absolutely rocks now, except no more motor braking. So turn off the motor braking if you guys upgrade it, because I think that's probably a firmware issue for the people who did upgrade it. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have upgraded yours. I'm very, very curious to get to that 150 sweet spot. Anyways, thanks again, Fox fans.